Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So in December of 2016, I built my quote-unquote monster Linux PC. And I actually have an entire playlist that goes over all of that. You can check that out in the description area below. So today I'm actually going to be going through a two plus years update and seeing whether or not this monster Linux PC still holds up and whether or not it is still worth building one specifically for Linux. Now before I go any further, I do want to give a huge, huge thanks to my brother because he's actually the one who pretty much handpicked every single one of these parts and got me some great deals. So let's go ahead and start off with the things on the outside. And right here I have an Inwin 303 mid tower case. This is a really nice clean case. I really like this minimal design. And about the only thing that I saw was lacking at the time was an optical drive. But my brother was telling me nobody really uses those anymore and he was right. So, and as you can see out here, it actually has a really nice glass case right here. You can easily see all your parts and we're gonna go into that right now. So looking inside, the first thing you'll probably notice is there are a lot of fans. I actually have seven different fans. And although it isn't the most quiet system, once I put the cover on there, it's not too bad at all. And most importantly, it keeps my machine cool. And then looking at the actual components themselves, I have a MSI Z170A Tomahawk motherboard. Right here, I have 16 gigs of RAM from Vulkan. And then the CPU itself, I have an Intel Core i7-6700K being cooled by this CryRidge H7 fan. And then right below that, I have an MSI AMD RX 470 GPU with 4 gigs of RAM. Storage-wise, I have an SK Hynix 250 gig SSD for the operating system. And right below that, I have a Crucial 750 gig SSD. And I also have a mechanical hard drive, a 4 terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. And then powering everything is a EVGA 550 watt gold supernova power supply so this is more than enough for all of my needs about the only place where an upgrade would make sense is for 4k content creation if i wanted smoother 4k editing so that is my update for my monster linux pc two plus years later i still absolutely love this machine it does everything that I needed to do. And about the only place where an upgrade would make sense for me is in my CPU, RAM, and motherboard, specifically for 4K content creation. But when it comes to media consumption, gaming, and actual work, this doesn't even break a sweat. And with every new update of Linux Mint, in this case, I'm running Linux Mint 19.1 Tessa, the performance continually gets better. And so that leads to the question, should you build a Linux PC right now? I would say absolutely. The Linux distros are constantly getting better and Linux as an operating system will always require less resources than Windows and if you still need it Windows you could always partition your hard drive have a separate hard drive or run Windows in a virtual machine like I do so that way you get the full benefits of a Linux operating system and still use Windows where it makes sense now in terms of overall cost in 2016, all the parts together, retail price was a little over $1,300, but thanks to my brother, he was able to get that down to $1,000, and nowadays, you can get these parts for much cheaper, and if that is something that you wanted to do and you want to support the channel, I will leave affiliate links in the description area below. So that is it. If you had any thoughts on my Monster Linux PC or maybe your own Linux PC, be sure to leave that in the comments area below, and as always, if you did get value out of these videos, share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.